This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this liquid dispersion effect using GIMP. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. And all of the images I'll be using in this tutorial are linked in the description section of the video. So let's get started here in, in GIMP. The first thing we want to do is open up a new document. We'll go to File, New, and we're going to make this 1280 by 720. We'll go down to Advanced Options, uh, Fill with Background Color, RGB, and go ahead and click OK. And it should start you out with a white document like that. And what we want to do is give this a colored uh, gradient background like you see here in the thumbnail of the video. So to do that, we'll go over to the Gradient tool, which is over here. And the gradient we want to use in this drop down over here, it's at the very bottom of the list. It should be the very last one, that yellow orange gradient. And um, for the shape, we want to use radial, which is right here. It's the third one down, radial. And once we've done that, we'll bring the cursor to the center of the canvas and then just click and drag and bring that line a little outside of the document at the top left hand corner like that and let go. And that'll create a gradient like that. And what we want to do now is import the image of the guitar. So go ahead and open that image. Here's the guitar image right here. I'm just going to click and drag that into GIMP. And there it is. And I want to shrink that down. So I'm going to come over to the scale tool and click on the image to scale it down. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can grab the corners. I'm just going to hold control and roll down on the mouse wheel to zoom out. And then I'll hold control and grab one of these corners and just scale it down, maybe about that much maybe a little more I'll scale that down and that should be pretty good I'll go ahead and click scale and what I want to do now is rotate this around so it's sitting horizontally so I'll grab the rotate tool which is right here and then just click and drag on that to rotate it around like that until it's sitting horizontally like that and that's pretty good go ahead and click rotate and I'll just grab the move tool and I'll put this towards the center of the page and over to the right maybe about right there and what we want to do next is import the image of uh, Chocolate Splash, which will be linked in the description. So just click and drag that into GIMP, Chocolate Splash, and there's that. And that should be created as a new layer by default. And what we could do with that is we'll rotate that around as well. We'll grab the Rotate tool and just rotate that around until it's going a little horizontally like that. Click Rotate. And we want to scale this one down as well. We'll grab the uh, Scale tool, which is right here. Click on the graphic and hold control and take one of the corners and scale that down. And let me put this over here to see how that looks. All right, that's pretty good. We can go ahead and click scale. And that's a pretty good size right there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And again, to zoom in and out, just holding control and rolling up and down on the mouse wheel. And I'm just going to grab the move tool and I'm going to just position this so that it's sitting in a good area. I'm going to put this, what we're paying attention to mainly is the edge of the chocolate splash and the edge of the guitar. We want them to kind of be lining up like that. And we want this part of the chocolate splash to be going well into the red area of the guitar right here. So this is a pretty good position for this. Maybe I'll move that over a little more. Uh, that, like that, that's pretty good. And what we want to do now is color this to make it match the color of the guitar, that candy apple red. So what we'll do is we'll go to Colors, Colorify, and we'll choose red from this list right here. It just so happens that this red happens to, uh, it, it works out so that it matches this guitar really nicely. But if you're doing this with another object, you can pick a custom color over here and experiment that with that. But for this tutorial, we'll just use the red, click OK, and that matches pretty good, I'd say. And what we want to do is duplicate this and flip it vertically and put another copy of it down here. So what I'll do is with that layer selected, I'll just go ahead and click this button over here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And with that duplicated copy, I'm going to come over to the flip tool. We're going to want vertical selected and go ahead and click on that to flip it vertically. And then I'll grab the move tool and I'll put this over here on the bottom side. We're going to make this one a little smaller, so we'll grab the scale tool, which is right here, and click on the graphic. And I'll just hold control and grab the corner and scale that down about that much. Let me see how that looks. That's pretty good. We can go ahead and click scale. Let me just grab the move tool and position this right about there like that. That's pretty good. 
And the problem we have now is that these two splash things look a little too symmetrical. They, they look like a, identical, like it's a pattern. So if you notice in the thumbnail, I made them look slightly different. So in order to do that, we're just going to deform this one a little bit just to make, make it look a little more different from this one up top. So to do that, we'll grab the uh, cage transform tool, which is right here. And we're going to draw a shape going around that object, around the outside edge of the object. It doesn't have to be like an exact perfect trim, just a generalized shape like that. And what we could do with these is you could take these individual nodes and pull them in, and that'll deform the shape of that object. You can pull them in, pull them out. You can select multiples and bring them in like that. See what that does. Take this one, pull that in. Maybe take these three, bring them out there. See what that does. Uh, maybe I'll pull that one out. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll pull. The, I'll bring that one in a little bit, and you get the idea. You could just experiment with it a little bit, see what looks good. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And once you have it positioned in such a way so that it doesn't look like an identical copy of the one up here, which at this point I don't think it does. I mean, it, it does look a little bit unique. Once it's fi once we're finished altering it, we could just hit enter on the keyboard to finalize it. And what's going to happen is we're going to have these leftover areas going around the image. So to delete them, to get rid of them, I'm just going to grab the erase tool and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and erase those. Oh, let me grab the harder brush. Just go ahead and erase those, those little uh, extracurriculars out here. We don't need, we don't need any of that. Is there any more of those? No, th that should be it. So we'll go ahead and erase those. Let me zoom back out. And you can press 1 on the keyboard to zoom out to 100%. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the guitar graphic, the one that says, uh, the layer that says electric guitar. And we're now going to get rid of the part of the guitar that's on the edge here, where it sticks out from the splash, the chocolate splash graphics. And to do that, I'm just going to right click on that layer and go to add layer mask. We're going to choose white full opacity. Go ahead and click add. And uh, we'll grab the paintbrush. We're going to want black selected, and we'll grab a nice, uh, actually we'll grab a softer brush like that, and just go ahead and paint out that uh, area of the guitar to remove it from the graphic. And I'd say that looks pretty good like that. I think that pretty much, oops, a little too much. Um, and if you accidentally do too much, you can paint it back in with the color white, so that's another thing you can do. And once we've done that, what we want to do now is make the splash blend in with the actual guitar to make it look like it's actually part of it. And to do that, we'll first go to the top one. Well, actually, no. We'll go to, the, we'll go to this one right here, the second one that says Chocolate Splash. We'll right-click that, and we'll go to Add Layer Mask. Same thing, white, full opacity. Click Add. And we're going to want a softer brush for this one. And still, we're working with white. And I'm just going to zoom in, and I'm going to get rid of the parts that don't look like they should be there. I'm just going to go ahead and fade this in. I may even go along the top here and get rid of that. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And you get the idea. Just basically make it look like it fades in, like it belongs there. Like that. That looks pretty good. Get rid of that. And at any point, you can just zoom in to get a better view. Like, see, that's that, that looks pretty natural right there. Maybe I'll get rid of this. And one thing about this graphic, this chocolate splash graphic, is this part of the this part of it right here looks a little rough. Like they, uh, there's a little bit of a problem with cropping that out. So if, I'm just going to fix that. I'm going to grab the hard brush, which is right here, and I'm just going to smooth that out. I'm going to fix that up real quick. And again, if you want, you could take your time and really go over it and make it look nice and smooth. I'm just doing a really rudimentary uh, gloss over of this for this tutorial. I don't want to take too much time making this video, so uh, let me press 1 to zoom back out. And that, um, that could look better. It's a little choppy, but it's good enough for now. I'll just leave that how it is. Uh, we'll come up here to this top layer, which is the one down here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to right-click that and go to Add Layer Mask. Click Add. We're going to want the softer brush over here. And I'm going to zoom back in. We're going to start coloring this in as well. We're actually just erasing the unwanted areas over here. We want all of this, the white part of the guitar, we want all of that to show through. 
And we want this part of the guitar to show through as well. And smooth that out a little bit. And again, I'm just going to fix that rough edge right there. Smooth that out a little bit. And let me... Uh... No, that doesn't, that's no good. Um, you know what? I'm going to switch that over to white. I'm going to go back to this softer brush. And I'm actually going to shrink this brush down by holding down the bracket key. Not that much. I'm just going to put some of that... You can see a little bit of yellow showing through there. So I'm just going to paint that some of that white to put some of that back in there. Like that. That's pretty good. Let me zoom out. Actually, that could look better. Um, Alright, that's good enough. And let me zoom back out. And let me just go back to the thumbnail see if I missed anything. I think that should do it. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did in the thumbnail here. So... Uh, yeah, that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can create this liquid dispersion effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.